to this audio of this guy's life may excite you and if you have a pet you're going to have a blast listen to this please comprehend this stuff and apply it in your daily life thank you for listening to my audios wishing you an awesome day enjoy and chill thank you so i already knew i'd be the first one i've already thought about it envisioned it i'm very happy to be here and thought about it and didn't contradict it with no. other thoughts that's all you often know things but right after you know them then you don't know them again <laughs> I really want this but but when you don't do that but part and you leave it standing where you mean it then that's the vibration that is recognized in how bright you are yeah I really appreciate it yeah. and your teachings have honestly just been as they all know the reason they're here too is because it's so uplifting and it's something we know in the core of our being yeah vibrational you find know. resonance with what you really know yeah exactly so one of the biggest things that I've learned from you and that I've been applying and it's been so big for me is to start every day with a process of alignment to just wake up I'm refreshed I'm laying in bed what feels good I love my bed I love my dog lying next to me I love this place where I am I get up I get out there I drink some water so you, you know. are deliberately allowing the momentum of your alignment yes how smart is that it is brilliant <laughs> it is it is yeah <laughs> it is why dig a hole that you have to climb out of exactly yeah. I'm seeing the value more than ever yeah I really am and I'm applying it now and I'm I'm going through positive aspects I'm meditating with your wonderful meditations thank you so much for creating that I love it and I'm also doing yoga which is fantastic and I'm just going through my day looking for I'm practicing love in my mind all the time I'm thinking what do I love asking myself the right questions and something that I keep that I, I just want to share this because I love this I know you love this too is that I think of questions that I'm gonna ask because I know I was coming to this and I get the answers and then so my questions have been evolving so much yeah so here I am yeah. and so what I've been thinking a lot about is the nature of consciousness about how you say we're all multi-conscious and how we're much more than of course we are in these physical bodies and because I, you have access to infinite intelligence yes you have <laughs> access to all intelligence mm -hmm. you just have to pick a station and stay on it long enough to start receiving on any subject yes pick a station on any subject of importance to you mm -hmm. stay on it until enough momentum gathers and then everything that you're ready to hear will flow to you now mm -hmm. yeah I'm really interested in the experiences and perspectives have always fascinated me of animals plants the changes of consciousness that I that's because they're true to themselves they're yeah. true to themselves because you know how you sat down and you said I knew I would be first and acknowledge because what you knew you didn't contradict with a thought that opposed it yeah. well that is the thing that is so intoxicatingly attractive to you about the beasts of your planet is that they utilize their now in a less contradictive way yeah they don't say oh I love you so much but do you love me they just know you love them they just know that you love them so much that they can't imagine you not wanting them in your lap exactly yeah <laughs> they just can't comprehend you're so right my dog is so cute and he likes to just sit there and watch it while I'm doing yoga and I often ask what is he thinking he's staring at me for like an hour just staring at me what is my dog thinking when he's staring at me now now yeah. now <laughs> now 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 okay. now okay. now this is good I like this this is good I like this this is really good I like yeah. this I like how this feels this is good I like this yeah. I really like this this is good I like this yeah. I really like this this is good I like this I really like this I really like this this is good I like this I really like this this is so good he's I really like this this is good I like this I really like this this, this is good I like a whole hour this is good I really like this uh -huh. uh -huh. and I've been in a place now where I'm practicing trusting more that I can trust in my vibration that once I do these processes however long it takes to get in a very good feeling place that I can trust that what unfolds will feel really good and I don't have to figure the how I can let the how fill in for me I know we it's really like it when the trust that you have is that no matter what happens you can get back to this feeling if you want to mm -hmm. Step one is ask, you know that. Step two is source answer. Step three is get in the receiving mode. Step four is get really good at being in the receiving mode. 
funny to have a whole step about step three, but it's really good. Mm -hmm. Step four is just get really good at step three. That's what step four is. Mm -hmm. Mastery of step three. And step five is don't be mad at yourself when you're back in step one. Mm -hmm. That's what step five is. Accept the value of the contrast. And so that's our desire for you. Yes, trust, but don't trust that I'll get here, that I'll lie in my bed and, and I'll align and then I'll meditate and I'll do positive aspects and I'll align and I'll do a yoga and I'll align. And therefore I'm so aligned that I can't let loose of it. That's not the point, is it? It's that I know how to catch the wave. That's all we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Noticing what works best for you because it's a little different for everyone how I best catch the wave of my alignment and just like when you're out there surfing Esther loves to watch them catching the waves mm -hmm. you know that another wave will be coming and there's no one almost no one on the surfboard crying between waves <laughs> CNN is out there how does it feel to be without a wave right now how long have you been without a wave? Do you think a wave is ever going to come again? Do you think someone else took all of the waves? Do you blame Donald Trump for the absence of the wave? You know that there's another one coming and you know that you can connect anytime you want. Yes. Precisely. And so I guess zeroing in on my question is really about all these different states of focus I get into. I have so many passions, so many creative outlets, so many things I get into, different zones, states of focus that I get into. Um, all pleasing? I, I'm curious about all the multi. Pleasing? They are really quite pleasing. Like for instance, I'll get into a guitar zone, sometimes a yoga zone, then it's a running zone, then it's a, but it's just very different in nature. So I'm, I guess I'm trying to understand the totality of the multi-conscious of how there's so many points of consciousness funneling through me and how it can be so different in nature sometimes. Still feels good, but just so different. Well, let's call the zone alignment. And then while we're in the zone of alignment, let's turn our attention to different things that interest us. Sometimes it's music. Sometimes it's something physical. Sometimes it's a conversation with someone. Sometimes it's moving into a specific new thought on a specific new subject. It's not a whole lot of different zones. It's the zone of connection and then turning your attention toward something that allows the fullness of you to enjoy the expansion. That's really that greatest feeling of satisfaction, no matter what the subject matter is. When that wonderful feeling of satisfaction is happening, that means you have opened the circuit and all energies are flowing and that feeling that you have of increased enthusiasm or increased interest or increased love that feeling is your conscious awareness of how the source within you the sources within you are feeling as we all are taking interest in your point of focus don't you love that That's amazing yeah Let's say one of them was got a canvas in your painting. Every painter who has ever painted can have access to your canvas and does have access and interest in your canvas. Whether your circuits open or not has to do with how much you allow their talent to flow with yours. Do you follow that? We're all interested and we're all with you, whether you're letting us in or not. But when your interest feels greatest, when your love feels fullest, when your satisfaction feels most, that means you've opened and are allowing the integration of us and you, which is what we were talking about now. That's when now is of greatest satisfaction to you. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's so good to hear. I love that. We like that clarification. Yeah. One zone, not a lot of different zones. Yeah. So then how do you choose which subject you're going to flow your zone resources toward? How do you decide? I ask myself what feels fun to me, what feels fun. And because my, my new mantra is keep it light and fun. I want it to be fun. Well, that's really know. good. You could call it, I choose it by acknowledging what's the path of least resistance. 
What's the path of least resistance? Because the path of least resistance always feels the best about where you are. We were playing with Esther the other day because her greatest struggle was which lovely place to be in now. Where should I be? And a little bit of feeling of something going wrong that she can't be in all of them at once, which she knows is not logical. But which lovely place should I be and which lovely people should I be there with? Sort of feeling torn about. And so we said, well, just think about it being path of least resistance. So then we got very logical with her, which is what you all are good at. You are good at logic. You're good at coming to conclusions and putting one thing against the other in order to feel what's the best choice. So we said to Esther, so let's be very clear about this. Let's say that you had a choice of being, as she does, in three different places around the nation, residentially. And here she's sitting in Del Mar. And it was 71 degrees in Del Mar. Her iPhone told her that it was 100 degrees in San Antonio. So I said to her, so path of least resistance, what's the path of least resistance? And Esther said, well, that's easy. In fact, I've planned my whole schedule around it. That's easy. Path of least resistance is here where it's 71 degrees today. And then we said, but what if your life had not expanded to the place that you had those choices? And what if where you lived was San Antonio and San Antonio only? What if that was where your job is, where your home is? What if that's where your choices are? So then you still have path of least resistance choices be inside where it's 71 degrees or outside where it's 107 degrees. What would you choose? And Esther said, well, I would choose inside. And then we said, but what if you had not expanded along your way enough that you have an air conditioner in your house? What if you live in a house, there's no air conditioning, then what are your choices? Or what if you must be outside? What if you have no choice right now other than to be outside? outside standing in the sun, outside standing in the shade. Always choices. What we want you to hear is under any condition, these are your choices. Complaining, looking for positive aspects, looking for something that feels a little better, looking for something that feels a little worse, looking for a reason to complain, looking for a reason to feel your upliftment. And so it may feel to you that we're getting a little carried away with this given what you've come to know. But as this expanded, always wanting to feel good person, we don't ever want you to be limited by a time or a space. We want you to be so capable of finding some thought of alignment no matter what that you're not trapped by believing that in order to feel good, I've got to be there. Or in order to feel good, I've got to be with them. Or in order to feel good. Because you've got to be free to move about. And that's that trust that you were talking about. Trust myself to be able to choose the path of least resistance. And do you know what the true path is that we're talking about? It's the path to your alignment. It's the path to your resources. It's the path to your clarity. It's the path to all that you are. Because when you're tuned into that, then that alignment will always lead you to beneficial whatever. And there are so many things you want in places you think you don't want to go. There are so many things you want in places you think you don't want to go and with people you think you don't want to go with. There's so much benefit. You often have yourself blocked off from things that you want. And so we've taught you and you've listened and you've learned it not only from us that the path of least resistance does always feel good, but it feels good for so many different reasons, you see. Yeah. yeah. And we know, we trust you. We trust that you can sort it out, that you'll always know. And it will just get better and better and better and better for you. I trust you. Yeah. But how are you going to know how good something is unless you've experienced a little less than it? If you ate where Esther wants to eat every day, you'd be sick of it like she is. <laughs> it can only take so much good stuff. Yeah. Contrast helps you in the discernment, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. yeah. So... We sort of headed you off just a little bit. Did you get where you were going or is there something more? 
You, you definitely honed in on me. Of course, I have endless questions, but you, you honed in on that, and that was well, perfect. Well, you Thank said you. you wanted to go to a new place. Yeah. And that is the leading edge place that from is. where you are. That's exactly where I wanted to yeah. go. Yeah. Really good. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.